I need to get all of the uh, manure and straw and feathers cleaned out of there and I think I might put my older girls that are being absolutely tortured by the roosters in there. Or I could just get rid of a couple of roosters, right? I need to anyway. I'm just, with the young ones, I just am having a hard time uh, deciding which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to go. So, and now of course Chris is a little sentimental about Rusty and losing him, so he likes the one that looks like Rusty. I don't like the white one because he's attacking me like Rusty did. Best money you'll ever spend. Love the garden fabric. This one, the apples got the biggest on last year, and they're definitely the biggest again this year. Not many of them. It's a pretty, pretty uh, what I call the stick tree now. It was the slingshot tree, now it's the stick tree. But um, nice apples. They just get better. And then this is what we got done today. One of the little things we got done. This is where the solar array is going to get moved to. So uh, we got the piles in the ground, the screw piles, and we're putting fabric down this time because it's such a pain to try and keep the grass and weeds away from here. And then I think what we're going to do this fall, we're going to put uh, the garden fabric in here too and plant the garlic in the fabric as well because this is just, this is just ridiculous. You can't, I mean, I, I don't have time to weed this stuff. You can see where all the the greens for the um, garlic are, but this is insane. The thistles and the grass and even trees, you know, saplings from here. Um, so this is nuts. This is gonna have to get some fabric on it too. Till it, we might even expand it and um, put garden fabric down here as well. Put the garlic in and then there won't be any weeds at all for the garlic next year either. This apple tree is looking good, except for the lower apples that the turkeys managed to peck at. Oh my goodness, what got that though? That wasn't a turkey. Oh dear. These, uh, these are looking awesome though. They didn't get this red last year, so I don't know why um, they're so red this year. But that will make good pie filling. The last four tomato plants that I transplanted are perking up a little now. These ones look awesome, but these ones are looking pretty peaked. Um, you know, the bigger they get, and then I, I really couldn't get much of a root ball. So um, I'm surprised that they're doing as well as they are, but uh, they're looking pretty good now. This grass, you wouldn't even know I cut it. I'm going to have to lower the mower deck. Now this is the Gloria tree that we thought was completely dead. So you can see how many shoots are on it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. If it ends up being one of those apple trees that has, you know, a whole bunch of branches coming out of the ground, that's okay. And then that is the Battleford, <laughs> what's left of it. And then this one here, I really think it might be another Honeycrisp. So I cut away the trunk of it that was dead and um, so it, this, I mean, it's going crazy now, so that's good. Well, it's the next day, and it's my favorite time of day. But I just wanted to show you the turnips. I uh, came in and trimmed. I'm going to wax these. And it is time to go out and pick some yellow beans and get them blanched and in the freezer. So let's go see what... I've been waiting a few minutes. Hopefully Chris will have most of them picked time I get out there. I was right. He's got a lot of it done. That was well played. <laughs> these, look at these beans. Just absolutely loaded with beans. They're following me. The one with the gimpy leg is still hopping like hop along Cassidy. But yeah, you can't get to me. You can't peck my toes from out there, can you? We're going to have to weigh a couple of these big ones and see if it's time. These guys, these three females here aren't very big. And that one back there. The females get to be about 25 pounds and the males get to be about 40 pounds. And nobody wants them that big, so... I only noticed yesterday, I planted two different types of corn because I wanted to see what the difference was. And I only noticed the other day in the sun how that has the purple tops 
and this one doesn't, and those ones are much smaller than these ones. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference is. These ones seem to be getting more cops though, even though they're smaller plants. So that'll be interesting. Look at these guys. They're still following us everywhere. Even though they're on this other side of the... I mean, this one looks pretty big. So, I think we might have to pull a couple more turnips. Holy moly, some of them. That one looks really big there. And all these leaves are awesome for the compost too. Desi. Now, I've noticed that Desi is crooked. See how his tail, lit, you know, sort of tips over to the right? I don't know if there's anything wrong with him or not. I'm sort of leaning towards keeping him, Barney, and Fred and get rid of, getting rid of the white one and the one like Rusty. Oh, look at that. He just chased the girls right out of there. What do you think? Hmm? Almost time for freezer camp, isn't it? And there's white. Snow and white are very skittish. Well, I'm calling her Whitey now, just because I'm being obnoxious. And this is Lucy and Viv out here. I can usually tell when they're together like this because Lucy is smaller. Such pretty girls. I think they are both laying, but I'm not sure. Except with Barney. We're getting too close to her babies, or in between her and the babies. They're in there talking to her. Where are you, Mommy? Where are you, Mommy? Yeah, they're talking to her, and she's talking to them. Come on, sweetie. It's okay. I chased Big Bad Barney away. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Is that Fred again? I think it is. I mean, Barney is such a beautiful rooster. So his spurs are just tiny little nubs, so I don't know how big he'll get. The white rooster is still attacking me sometimes the way Rusty did, so I'm not too happy about that. And I'm trying to decide who stays and who goes. Fred hasn't attacked me yet. Look at Betty wants by. It's like, get out of the way, Fred. I want to go cuddle Wilma. Oh dear. Oh dear. There you go, sweetie. I'm gonna go cuddle your friend, are ya? And these little white ones, this is Snow. She's got the purple band. You cannot do snow on the perch, Barney. Silly thing. These two are beautiful. So, and I think this is the one that lays the dark, dark, dark brown eggs. I'm hoping. So I haven't got one yet, so I'm assuming she hasn't laid yet. She's still quite small. And then Betty, I just love the color of her. Yeah, she's, I, I think uh, she's happy now because she's back inside with her babies. Yes, it's about time to go to bed, isn't it? I think I'll, well, I'll, I'm going to be in the garden, so I guess I can keep an eye on. Desi's getting a little too close too, maybe. These guys are, I don't know why, these younger ones. Oh, is that Ruby up there? Barney was, yes. Barney was in the entrance to the little hutch here. You can see how she's all puffed up on the back of the neck because her babies were in there and Barney was in the entrance. We don't want Barney near the babies, do we? No. <laughs> I was going to say Fred's been standing on the gate here crowing and it's the most feeble crow. These guys are, as usual, going to bed early. I don't know why they go to bed so early. It's so beautiful out. What about you? You're one of the young ones. She's got a green band, so I know she's one of the new ones. Don't know if the other one with the green band is here. Where are all your little friends? Are you only coming in here because everybody else is the same color? Oh, you're so so same with this one. I've got a um, bin at the bottom with leg and thighs. This one's all breasts. 
and um, I've got a couple of boxes on here as well. And I checked those boxes, the height of them will fit on this shelf as well. So I'm going to get a couple more when I go to the city tomorrow. One to put on this shelf and one in the other freezer for the uh, veggies. And we have a third freezer in the new tiny house. I don't know if you can see how beautiful the sunset is. But that is just gorgeous. The sun looks like twice the size for some reason.